Hello, here is Muho and Eko this. And I'm visiting Antaiji for the first time since November last year. And Eko, as you probably know, she's my successor. She's the new abbot of Antaiji. And I would like to make a small interview with Eko today. Eko, maybe you can tell us how you came to Antaiji, what brought you to Antaiji. Why? Why? Why did you? Um, why? I... No special reason. <laughs> I, yeah, I had uh, interested in the, about self-sufficient. Um, Self-sufficiency? Self-sufficiency. Uh, style, uh, lifestyle, uh, and uh, also I hmm, had interested in also farming. Farming. Uh, hi. So, and then, Antaji is a temple. Uh, usually in Japan, temple is a kind of uh, company of funeral, uh, but. Here in Antaich, uh, no support. Uh, the Antaich uh, don't do uh, funeral, mm, anything mm, like uh, company. Yes. So, so I had also interested in this style of temple. Hi. So I stayed now. 13 years? 13 years. Ah, you came in 1990 for the first time in the summer. What did you do before you came to Antaiji? Oh, I worked in a hospital. Uh, I was midwife. Oh, I... for 20 years or so? How, how... Mm, the, the midwife is 10 years. 10 years. Mm, the before 10 years, I uh, just a nurse. Nurse. Hi. So why did you become interested in farming and self-sufficiency? Ah, it is the connector of the, uh, uh, the um, midwife uh, mm -hmm. work. I yes. learned from the uh, childbirth, uh, from childbirth and to care for the uh, uh, babies yes. uh, needs more natural th things mm -hmm. and more we should uh, uh, live uh, uh, more naturally without something chemical or yes. more needs more the activity for our life, lifestyle. Uh, I felt from the, the, my midwife job. I see, uh, I see. The first time you came, if I remember right, you stayed for three months or so. Hi. Then you left, but you came back next spring <laughs> and stayed for maybe another three months and left. <laughs> But then you stayed for longer and longer, so so. why did you decide to stay for longer? Yeah, I, I had no idea. Somehow, what yes, the Buddha Shakyamuni mm. bring me to, to Antaji. Antaji. <laughs> he, he, I didn't, think. he didn't let you escape. Yes. <laughs> you tried to escape, but... <laughs> 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 good, good. Mm. And did you enjoy it in Antaiji the first 10 years or so? Enjoy? Well, enjoy? Enjoy? Yeah, I wasn't enjoy. <laughs> always something fighting in my mind. Uh, always. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, 
but I learned mm. many things mm. Mm. myself yes. also in my mind mm. and also the in the Sangha also mm. nature mm. the most of I learned my teacher I think three or four years ago I asked you if you could imagine to become the next abbot of Antaiji. Mm. How did you feel at the time? Oh. Did you say, oh yes, yes, sounds good? Or? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Also, I haven't, I had, haven't this idea. Mm. Uh, mm. Was shock? It was shock. Mm. Why? Oh, oh, mm. oh. My teacher left from Antaiji. Mm. I I couldn't uh, uh, imagine. Also, I couldn't believe mm. it. Mm. Uh, that is uh, most of the shock to mm. me. Mm. Uh. Has your life changed a lot now that you are the the person in charge? Now you're the abbot, and mm. for the first ten years you were well, maybe the oldest nun, mm. but you were not the abbot and now you are responsible. Mm. Is it a big change for you? Mm. Mm. Not so big change. Still, I practice uh, in Antaij with uh, Sangha. Mm -hmm. uh, also, I learn from the yeah, people. Also, I learn learning from myself. Mm. Also, I learn a lot of from uh, tambo and <laughs> patake <laughs> work. Mm. Yeah, the rice mm. seeds, rice plants uh, mm. teaching me mm. so many things. Mm -hmm. But I cannot receive so much, mm. little by little. Then every year I made mistakes so much, but little by little. Mm. And then rice also every year growing. Then mm. they gave us the so much rice mm. for mm. us. Yeah. Of course, Antaji also we are not a professional farmer, mm. so there is a not so good quality, but we can survive. Yes. Yes. So I so much grateful for rice, mm. also for Sangha, for, for nature mm. here in Antaiji. Mm. Probably you learned much more from nature than you learned from me. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe now. <laughs> now. Yeah. But yeah. I remember sometimes, oh, mm. maybe uh, uh, my teacher, uh, he, he said like this, uh, Ah, now I know. Maybe like this or like that. Mm, mm, uh, mm. I, I remember. Sometimes I remember uh, his, uh, uh, his word. Mm. Mm. So. When we talked a couple of hours ago, you said that you and I are kind of hundred degrees <laughs> opposites, completely different. <laughs> What's the difference between you and me? <laughs> Yes, yeah, my feeling is, uh, uh, yeah, my teacher is very in intelligent, intelligent, uh, mm, intellectual, yeah, intellectual uh, person, mm. and uh, he knows so many things, oh, and uh, uh, also he learned himself the Buddhist or Dogen uh, teaching uh, so much. But still, I <laughs> I don't know so much about Buddhism. So also my learning every day. Mm. Uh, but you are a very practical person. <laughs> yes, practical <laughs> person. <laughs> more, more. I like more uh, oh. working in the field. Mm. Also mm. in the tambo uh, yeah. rice field in the. Muddy, muddy field. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> yeah, and then that's very important to be a <laughs> practical person. <laughs> yeah, so probably I still mm. now in Antaj, 
and also I could uh, uh, practice uh, Buddhism. Mm. I mm. think. Mm. I I think the camera will stop in a minute or so. I would also maybe have a second interview with you asking you what you expect from people that want to come to Antaishi mm -hmm. or what possibilities there are to join mm -hmm. in the practice. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can tell me that in the next second video. Okay. okay. Okay, thank you for watching and we will have a second video soon.